Okay, welcome everyone. I think based on our brilliant um, suggestion last time, we could go around and say our names for the benefit of people who are watching from home. Um, I'm Trish Brigham, Senate Chair. Ellen Coughlin Quinn, member. Roger Shibalot, member. On Susan Community Services. Rick Murphy, member. Emily Loader, Vice Chair. Yeah, Penny Whitney is Dorian, citizen. And community services staff and community and a valued member at that. Thank so you. there you go. Thank you. Um, okay, so we're we've noted that Alex is absent, Patricia is absent, Amanda is coming late. So for and thank you, Emily, for stepping in and taking the notes again. You are the wizard of that. Um, so did everyone have a chance to look at the minutes for last meeting and I have a motion to approve. Motion. Any no, questions? No, question, yeah. Questions, comments, correction. Seeing none, all in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. Okay, minutes approved. Um, okay, opening up for citizen comments. Is, is that new thing? It would be. Okay. So I gave um, Todd our leader from Carpenter here. I sent a, an email to the town council asking them to consider reviewing the beach fees, hopefully this year. Um, and the chair got back to me and said he would be asking this group to take a look at the beach fees and making recommendations for next year. Um, so you've got a copy of what I've sent to them and I'll give you a minute to look that over and then I have a, a couple of comments. The five dollar fee is um, resident or non-resident, correct? But if you have a pass, you don't pay the fee, correct? Correct. Right. And do we have? Um, I think we've talked about this before. Do we have any data that shows what percentage of the people that park, particularly on the weekends, for example, are town residents like pass versus paying? I think it depends on what beach you are at. Um, I know early in the morning, and that's when I I usually have worked in the past opening. I haven't been working the beach a lot this year because I need a hip replacement, and it's a problem. So in the morning, the people that come in are usually bell walkers. Yeah. They come every morning. Which and beach do you work at, Penny? Any of them. Oh, all of them. Okay. Got it. And they are almost always... No, very few yeah. yeah, whether they have passes or don't have passes. And at Prairie Beach, we usually have more people coming in with passes than are paying. Um, at Hood Park, it's a very transient area because of you know all of the lodging and Airbnbs and that kind of stuff. It's far more people coming in daily and paying versus yes. Um, passes and then Higgins is there's a that's about 50 50, I think, because a lot of regulars are going there. I think it may depend on the time of day, but um, I don't have a lot of time in for this. So the increase, um, the $30, which I it is startling that it's 100%, but I'm guessing that's pretty much in line with what other 
be I think it's still mm -hmm. below. Mm -hmm. we, we did that. The $30, three I mean, I'll be perfectly honest with you. It's it's difficult. Like all of the vendors down in Old Orchard Beach that, that sell parking base it on today's weather. Is it a nice day? Is it a crappy day? Oh. It's like a couple of days ago, they were charging, one of the parking lot was charging 50 bucks. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, but then there are other times when we're charging 30 and they're charging 20. Yeah. Um, and our thirty dollars, it's cheaper to go to Discovery Beach State Park than it is to come to Fairy Events. But if you compare, I agree. But I think when we were looking at other town beaches, mm -hmm. we were finding that ours were way below. Could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the comparison points. But I do think. It's it is um confusing and I understand the concern about young families, although um you can buy you know you can buy a parking of seasonal pass, right? Mm -hmm. And we talked about this before. One of the ways that we're rationing because we don't have enough parking spaces is through fees. Right. Fair or not. Yeah. I think the concern is, and, and I talked to all of our staff last year about the fees and what the problem is. The one thing that breaks our heart the most is you have a young family come in that can get to the beach a couple times a year with their kids. They come in on the weekend because it's the only time they can get there, and it's thirty dollars. And I said that's a big chunk for you know a couple of young people with small children. Are they Scarborough residents or no? From no. No. They're they're from away, right? right. And we, you know, this we're trying to get the staff to educate people about the passes. So there's a lot of asking. Oh, where are you visiting with us from today? Because I want to know where people are coming from. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, Got the fee discussion on your agenda too. Just so yeah, as far as debating and you guys making decisions and reviewing your data. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, the most. We've got regulars at every beach where you don't see the regulars so much as Fair Park, which of course is our largest parking lot. Um, it's Ferry Beach, same people, all, almost all of them. Mm -hmm. And then you get a few, you know, the cliff walk is closed right now. So some people are coming in and it's like, oh, we can't do that. So they're leaving um, because, it, you know, they're really not coming to the beach. They're coming to do the cliff mm -hmm. walk. So. But and part of this year's observations is we've hired three full-time seasonal park rangers. And the $5 fee, which is when in the morning, which is the only time your dog can be on the beach unleashed, is not paying. I mean, we have to hire those park rangers basically because of the dogs. And about 90 to 95% of their work is the dogs. And we're not, that's not covering the cost of the dogs. Yeah, that's an interesting data point that feeds into our other work uh, that we're doing around dog ordinance. Well, and recently, one of the park rangers counted 106 dogs on the beach at Higgins Beach. At what time? In the morning. In the morning. And it's interesting that it's non-Scarborough residents. And a lot of them are not oh, Scarborough residents. Huge amount of non-residents because they don't. Because there's nowhere else to take their dogs. Well, it's not that there isn't anywhere to take the dogs. There's no place else that will allow the dogs to be off the leash. There you go. Thank you. Like Bayview and Soko will allow the dogs, I think, pretty much any time of day, but they always have to be on leash. So, Todd, to your point, we do have this as a discussion item. She yeah, needs... this is public comment. So, that's mm -hmm. you get, I mean, she's free to chime in when we have this yeah. public discussion on Perfect. the topic, yeah. but just okay. to keep through going through yep. the agenda. Yep. Thank Got you. it. Thank you yep. for your yep. work. No, it's good feedback. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, any other citizens? I don't know if we have anyone that's online. We just have one person, and I don't see. Allison, if you want to speak, throw your hand up. <clears throat> I think we're good. Okay. Um, we will move on to the animal control ordinance. And thank you for your Herculean efforts. Yes, Amanda. Thank you. Um, so do a few people have commented on those 
on the Google Doc. How do you guys want to do this? Do you want to go through it? We spent quite a bit of time last time. I guess maybe go through the edited version. Sure. Trish, can I just let you know the day I met with um uh Al, I some holy smokes, Autumn Spirit Planning Director. And I shared all the work you guys did. I shared um, Amanda's document. I shared the comments that we received. Which director? I didn't hear the first oh, part. Autumn Spear, the planning director. She's planning. reviewing yeah. planning. She's doing, she's going through a lot of the ordinance and to your point, formatting and stuff. And so uh, miraculously, uh, within an hour, she took most of all the comments that everybody made in your edits and dropped it into a single document, which I um, gave you guys in print. Ooh. Wow. Um, because she put it into her latest format that, um, so she took all the changes and the questions um, and then dropped it in. So in green text is new words you guys have put in. Um, Henry, do you want to see what, yeah, hand that down? Okay. And if she wants to look at that. Um, and then the blue stuff is stuff that moved based on definitions around yep. um, in a certain area. So Again, you have that as a point of reference for you. We can do this any way you want, but I just wanted to share what she put together. Um, is this, where, where is, this is the other one. I haven't been able to pull up some of the additional suggestions that were sent in, but I, this first page does not look like what I have. So I just want to make sure. Is this the one, this is. Well, for example, the general standards section doesn't match what I have from the Google Drive, but maybe I'm looking at the, the wrong version. Wait a minute. So this, this, and the one I have up on the TV, is that the one you have? Yes. And then it comes into this. With all, yep. With all. yep. That's the one that Amanda did with the comments added in. We have another one in the drive, which was the original ordinance that wasn't changed by Amanda that also had comments. Uh -huh. yep. So this that's, is, is that's what the blue <clears throat> green no, so no, the blue green. Yeah. So what she took was she took all the comments, your mm -hmm. edits, and put it into the format that she's been doing ordinances. Mm -hmm. Is um, just because again, your point is the you know the definitions, and then um, just some of the in the general standards. Yeah, section, there's three things that are really definitions. So I, that's what what I did. All I was confused. About. Exactly, like there were things moved from the definition section right. to general standard. Right. And maybe that's just something for us to discuss. Do we want, type of, for example, animal control officer in a definition section or something in general? But that was just the. Gotcha. I see. Does that yeah. make sense? Okay. Yeah. I yeah. might put in a pitch for exactly what you just said. If you go back to the document that Amanda had worked on, the general standards are general standards, but abandoned animal, animal control officer are under definition, which effectively these are. So I'm wondering if they can just be moved back to definitions, or are you feeling like we have to go with the way for, for conformity? I, I think we can get to the point that we need to get to, because what's going to have to happen is this is going to have to go to PD. They're going to have to, you know, look at it. Then it's going to go to ordinance review committee. And, and so it was just a way to change it into the format that it. she's been doing okay. it simply. Yep. Uh, it doesn't mean that we have to, whatever way we want to get to the end of it, um is totally fine i'll have to admit i was having a hard time trying to put the three different sets of comments and i'm sure you did right yeah. somewhere at the bottom of the page somewhere notes and somewhere yeah. and i am not good at google like accepting changes and so um uh, what i did chat with her about was my interest in it and i think it came from this board was having after I read everybody's comments and after I went through it again and looked at changes, what I was having a hard time was what are all the common things? Cause, cause her first question to me was, what are you trying to change? Uh, you know, and, and what areas are you affecting? I'm like, for us, the beach needs the most change. Right, right. Then you've got parks and trails and then you've got common areas, parking lots and sidewalks, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That type of stuff. And so, that's why I think the way she broke it out at the end is you have your definitions and some of your standards, but then it was broken up by um, uh, at the last of that back end page was you saw, you know, public property in schools, no dogs permitted, public property standards for, so you could build out your standards under each type of section. So I, personally, I 
and I'm, I'm not saying this to be rude or disrespectful. I don't care about the definitions. If I'm a general citizen reading it, I want to know what I can do and what I can't. Mm. My thought, I mean, obviously my frame of reference is very specific, but if you don't define things, that if you just have a section telling people what they can and cannot do, yep. then it sometimes can yep. not be clear what it's referring to. So what I would suggest is perhaps uh, a combination, which yep. is, we have a definition section. If yeah. someone wants to know what's public property, what's this, what's that, it's there and they go to it and it's easy. But I think we could also have, be it an appendix or a different section, essentially a chart yeah. that says, here's the locations and here's what you can do just for quick ease of viewing in that yeah. way. But one of the most challenging parts of, <laughs> of putting this together is that there were repetitive things and then inconsistent things. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so... That was a heavy lift yeah. to make this not <laughs> yeah. not that. So I I understand that the average person would say, why do I care what these definitions are? But I also know when we were going through it last time, it was, well, what do we mean by that? What is voice control? What is that? And yeah. so to have it right there at the beginning can be really helpful. And yep. people may not realize they need it, gotcha. if that makes yep. sense. Yep. Yeah. 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 Again, your choice, how you go, like I said, I just... She put that together and sent it along after we met, trying to get clarification on. But it doesn't seem like everything was included, is what I would say, because we're missing the personal space in, in which here in in the new one the that new she. One. Yeah. Can no, you remind it, me of her name? Uh, Autumn. Autumn, put together the personal space. Doesn't seem to be anywhere. It's in here. It's under uh, page four, the very bottom. Yeah, violations and penalties H. Well, page six. Got it. That way. Maybe I'm looking at something different. No, I see page four. Where's the reference? The the space. The if the dog approaches. Oh, hey, sorry. I'm sorry. You know, and, and the one of the things that we were talking about today, and I said I would share with you, one of the goals she has when she's changing these ordinances is um, removing things that we can't enforce. Yeah. Things that are gray, yeah. Things that are, and 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 I and I'm not gonna. She can defend. She can give her own definition, but she's like, how do I define ten feet of personal space? How do you go to somebody and, you know, and and you can get a measuring tape. Yeah, I mean, ten, feet is, ten, ten feet. feet is ten feet. Ten feet is ten feet. Right, but if you're saying if, if again, going to court, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Your dog was within ten feet when. You know well, if I mean? they're on to it, if they're, I mean, to, for me in the situations I've yeah. spoken about, it's very clear they're on top of me. Yeah. You know, right. like there is no, we don't need a measuring stick at all. Yeah. And there needs to be some, like, I feel like Amanda tried to explain what the personal space was. And right. um, this seems to go back to the old way can i make one suggestion i was just thinking if this is the document that she feels comfortable with i've got the document that we have in the google drive where we've highlighted in yellow what right questions yep. are. That? okay yep. so yep. can we go back to the our google doc and go through the questions and make sure they're in here you could do it you can just you could that me does anybody the... have a suggestion on how to orderly go through this because we can yeah. be here all night let right. me let me offer a second suggestion and I'm not trying to have it be my document, this document, but those are the words I'm going to use. Yep. Uh, yep. If we can go through the one that's on the drive, that's yep. there. Yeah. Let's first just answer those yes. questions. Right. And then what I would suggest, and I, I can even do it, um, is then there can be a comparison of yep. this right. one singular yep. document with what's here. Yep. I think one of the only issue I'll say in very quick look through here is one of the biggest things we disliked about the original document was the organization. And this seems to still be following that. But it, it's that's something easy to copy and paste and move around if we want to, if we need to go yep. in, in this direction. Yep. Yeah, I would agree. Okay. Let's go through the yellow. Okay. So the first one I have is do animal control officers, those that are not regular police officers, have full police power? So no, they do not. Okay, so we don't need they to... can provide citations, um, a violation summons and complaint for animal ordinances, but they cannot arrest. They are not, um, they haven't been to the police, full police academy. To okay. that. So we don't need to say that then. No. Okay. Do you want 
Who do, do you want me to go in the document or do you want uh, do you want to like I mean I have it up I can just delete it as we go through yeah it. no that's fine I just want to make sure somebody was <laughs> okay the next well, they they can give uh from what I understand the bike cops can give parking tickets yeah yeah we're talking yeah, about yeah, but those, but those are cops. this is animal control all oh, animal control and yeah the quote unquote bike cops are typically reserve officers and they're allowed to arrest yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and some animal control officers are cops though i'm not it I depends on the, the on gender the our existing one may be a police officer i'd have to double check i can, I can check yeah, yeah. But anyways, but, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Um, dangerous dog does not include a dog vet, and will this pass legal muster? Criminals have sued even when trespassing is going to be for a while. Do we need to do anything? With I that? copied and pasted from the statute. Okay, so then that's it. That's the answer. That's what a dangerous dog is. But was it the yellow? Oh, so sorry to defense you. So dangerous dog A, B, and C. That's from. The statute. This part about dangerous dog does not include a dog that is that the only part there was the um, question about? I, I, I'm guessing. Okay. Does anyone, I don't think that was my question, although I don't know. I right. honestly don't recall. Did anyone recognize that question? Okay, so we can take that out. Is it a town statute or it's a state it, statute? It's it's a state statute. Okay. That the... defines dangerous dog is not. Mm -hmm. Great. Stacey? Is oh. these your words? Sorry. That's okay. Okay. Next. Your start, is that yours? No. I will unhighlight that. That's the next one. Um, oh, I think this is my handheld device, which can be used to retrieve the brain in the mind. Am I in your version? Am I in the right one? There was three. Yeah. If you okay. hover over the tab that's open, it will say like, Trish this and the, Amanda's. And there were two of those, but it looked like this was the one that- You're in the right one. Edited. You're in the right one. Okay. But you should you should be able to see each other, though. Yeah, see, right now, so I don't see Trish, you're oh, not I in the right. I just that out. I'm not in the- But I'm seeing exactly that same, same thing. I see yeah. you in it, and then I'm in it, but I don't see Trish in it. We might just be in a different one, because there were two that had. had. I'm literally seeing the exact same thing that's on the screen. Yep, there's mm -hmm. two of them, though. There's two copies in there. Um, Can you go back to the drive? Yeah, there's two that one looks like a Google Doc and then one is a Word Doc. So I'm wondering if you have the Word Doc open. Uh, it's I was in Google Doc. Yeah, I'm just saying if you look at the symbols on the left, one has a W and one right. You edited that for me. Um, no, it should be, yeah. I guess well, maybe one of the things we want to do is when we That's right. We edited 631. That's you. Why aren't I? I don't know. I cut that and you can print it. And if it's the second one, so that we're not getting confused. Yeah. I think all of it, and this is my error, I could not get my document to go into, a, I did it in Word, and I couldn't get it to go into, okay, I didn't take that out. I just sent it as is. And so oh, that was the only draft. And that's the only draft. And I just took out. I think Google. And that's what you and I don't know why. I haven't touched anything else. So I just actually what I have. Did you figure it out? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I can, can, I can the exact same thing and right. I can I share reshare it when I'm done if we want to keep going. See, I'm in the same thing. I just took out. Do you need to paper your trash? Well, I have the one that she sent though. And you guys should essentially be in the same document. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. But there's two of them on there. So let's see how uh, this is where so that one is the Word doc. So it's not the Google. So there's another one with the exact same okay. title. I don't know. That will be how you can maybe arrange them by date or something. So that will be a baby. I have a copy of the current yeah. dog on ordinance. So right here is. Which is yes, the one, the one, that one, that one, yes. that's what I'm saying. Right, just yes. to clarify yes. and explain. Yeah. Assuming there's what I was going to say about that. So yes. going back to the space. <laughs> That's why we want to have eight to the lead. Animal control. Well, that's right. Because if a guy comes just, and the dog at the end of eight to the lead, he can see the back. You have no, I had done the same thing and then and I. And if the dog all right, does so you should be good. I'm in it and now I'm in it. So, all right. So I answered that question. That's why I want to make sure that it says eight foot lead. Eight foot lead. Okay. So I think we were on, other than my little diversion there. Thank you. I think we were talking about overly broad definition about the leash, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
And I think somewhere we did cover what that was. No? Yes. We, yeah, we, the definition of leash generally, and then like what our rules would be about it. But we can certainly add in. Todd, can you more scroll down yeah. to the we, dictionary we, definition? But I think we we talked about length. The yeah, last we did. Time. We and did. we all decided. But that's not the definition of leash. That's the rule of the leash. Yeah. So that's what why it's not there. Okay. Well, yeah, well, handheld well. leash, a handheld device which can be used to restrain an animal. Yeah. And is this where we want to define the length? Or no, because the length. Well, different. that's your call. I think it was okay. what we had talked about from the notes from yep. the last no. meeting was. Okay, not so there. we're no, good with this. Should be in the standard section. Yeah. 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 So this is to... fine the way it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we can unhighlight that too. Yeah. I'm not as fast as that. I was trying to. I will unhighlight, <laughs> but I want to get rid of the red questions. I will do that. Uh, I promise you. Do you want me to to do it, Trish? If you want to unhighlight up to nine. Actually, I can do it, but I don't want to hold you up while I'm like doing these key things. Well, if you if you talk, I should be able to keep up. Okay, so um, we're all the way through nine. Us, everything should be unhighlighted to that point. Okay, non-responsible party. Um, very hard to understand what this means. Does this mean that the non-owner has a right to request the responsible party provide? Well, this is a space barrier. Yes. Yeah, so I think Amanda came up with the term space barrier, right? Amanda, because that wasn't in. I'm usually not that creative. Sorry, Trish, but it, 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 well, nine, like they're right. Working on it two o'clock in the morning, so maybe I thought it was a good idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nightfall was picking That should be unhighlighted, and there's a paragraph above. We, we oh, just unhighlighted. So unhighlighted, okay. not deleted. Oh yeah, okay. I got you. Okay, so let's um... see. Now I see Trish, but I don't see you two. <laughs> Google. <laughs> but you and I. I are see it. Trish. Does that help? <laughs> well, I just un but I just unhighlighted a bunch of stuff, but it's not happening there. there so. Yeah, I see Amanda in there. Yeah. <laughs> you guys just keep going. We got it. Right right to Amanda, too. Yeah, we'll have one document. Okay, so the non-responsible party space barrier. We're happy with this definition now. Is that what we want to call it? A, I yeah, please think of a better. Yeah, thing. and then I can just personal do space rule, non-responsible personal space rule. That's what I put out, and I'm not tied to it. I just um, space barrier makes it sound like there's a physical barrier. And there. why can't we just call it non-responsible personal? Why space? can't you just yeah. call it a person? Uh, and this is Amanda's draft. Looking at it doesn't have a page number, but it's number 10. Yeah. Why do we need to put non-responsible in there at all? It's very confusing. Mm -hmm. I but think I don't what, understand what it I understand what it means. I like think that. we were just simply differentiate. I'm not saying we have to use the term, but I think we were just differentiating between a responsible party and then like a victim, if you will, without using that word, mm -hmm. like the person that has a right to have their space. But so you just call so, personal space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's did, what I'm wondering. Yeah. Why can't it be like personal space barrier, and a person has a right to not have any dog closer than ten feet, unless first giving permission. Because obviously, a dog owner or a responsible party, in I mean, we're going to assume that they've given themselves permission to be within 10 feet. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But any other person, and we don't really have to define who's right. responsible and non-responsible. Yeah. It's just any person has the right to not be approached by yeah. a dog. Well, and I could, feet. and I didn't want to get into deep. I like that simple definition because yeah. I could have my dog with me. I'm a responsible dog owner, mm -hmm. and your dog comes in my space. So how do you define that? So I think that it's, just, I think it's, I like the simple personal space. And then it's just that one line you just said, because then that covers me with a dog, me with your dog, me with my dog, you know. Right. So then what we need to do is we need to define the personal space barrier, but then we also have to separately define the non-responsible party or whatever term we give, because there's multiple places within this when it comes to the actual violations where we're referring to the non-responsible parties. And that was 
my error is not differentiating them, but we need to. Can we just put personal space parentheses non responsible? So you're well, talking about the other thing, and then there's the space. That was the only thing because, and I can look and see. But didn't we, didn't those definitions already exist? Or did we get rid of them? This is the current ordinance. So let me tell you. Roger came so up maybe we, we, could we, we I thought we defined a, the response oh, yeah. party. We did. And so perhaps just saying non oh, is, is adequate. Responsible. I just want to make oh, sure we don't. There's no new. You. No, it isn't. Yeah, not something else. Yeah, I, I don't think in the old document, non-responsible dog owner or non-responsible person is not a definition. Right. And like I said, it, but I agree defined, that because we're a violation would include. So I'll give an example when we have the part about beaches, which which is its own section here. It says the following you know restrictions apply. One of the subsections is all owners must ensure that all non-responsible parties space barriers are honored at all times. That's just an example. Mm -hmm. So I think we do have to define the space barrier. Or the personal, I think it's personal space. You get 10 yeah. feet of personal space. But a dog owner also has that 10 foot. Right. Sure, so, but from the other good. dog. Because the way that like, a, a summons right. would be given right. is if I have a dog and you have a dog, but my dog is the one being naughty, then I'm the responsible party and you're not, and thus you're entitled to the space. Yeah. Yeah. So could it be as simple as non-responsible party, personal space? And that way you still have your non-responsible definition. Yeah. But mm -hmm. for me, I go right, with, I see the personal space thing right away versus yeah. seeing it in that definition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Which I may never No, I, I think that makes sense to have that there. So it's clear that it's the, the So I don't think it you is. can remove responsible party, which is in the definition. Yeah. Because it shows up in animal waste. It says the responsible party has to remove the waste. Mm -hmm. But there's two instances that I've found in your mm -hmm. zone. One is under beaches. Yeah, it says all owners must ensure that all non-responsible parties space barriers. We could strike non-responsible problem and put in personal space because it's already been defined. So to say um, that personal space barrier must be take out the barrier and just say personal space. Right. It's so, right here. So yes, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. You just strike that out. And we've already defined personal space. Yeah. So you don't need to repeat as non-responsible yep. person. Yeah. I'm just I'm yeah. just double checking if right. so there's eight instances of using the term non-responsible. So I'm making sure it's always with the personal space reference and not by itself. Okay. But Rick, so for number 10 on the screen, are you saying it shouldn't say non-responsible in front of it? It should just say personal space. Well, then we do say the person not owning or responsible for the dog at issue, right in the first sentence. So right. we can just do one it. or the other. So you want two definitions then? The, the wording is simple. I actually like the not the personal space in the title. And then person not person to person is not owning or responsible for the dog at issue has a right to not have get to, to, to leave that sentence in there and call it personal space. Yes. And that's very okay, simple. I agree. It is, so there's two, only two spots in the whole thing. I just did a search where it says non-responsible person rather than type. So for example, it says if a dog approach it, it's under um, the violations and penalties. It says if a dog approaches or remains within 10 feet of any non-responsible person. And then it goes on just in that paragraph that's listed twice. So we just want to maybe tweak so the wording just, there. Or take out non-responsible any person without permission. If a dog approaches or remains within 10 feet of any person, person. without that person yeah. permission. The yeah. only reason it was there to was to differentiate from yeah. the owner because obviously it could be within 10 feet of the owner. Well, right. <laughs> but that that owner is inferred to have given permission with him or herself mm -hmm. so we're taking have his own now. dog so it doesn't yeah. really need to be stated now you're showing up on top screen that's good we're all there we're all good yeah okay. Nobody so do anything. thanks jim have a good night and then the sentence then it will say under 10 person person's not only responsible for the dog at issue has a right to not have any dog close within 10 feet to his or her person unless first given permission curious may i have the no, like personal space
I was just yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah, I just yes, absolutely. You do you. <laughs> sorry, my OCD brain started twitching. <laughs> Hence why I was working on this instrument. Yeah. Everything is. I was more concerned about the getting the. I know. Yeah. I'm just getting yeah. a hard time, so this is more entertaining. But yeah. okay. <laughs> um, all right. So then the rest of those comments. Very hard. What about individuals, personal space? Can we get rid of the, all of those comments? Ellen, I think the two of yours, yeah, I think they can go. Yeah. Okay. They're satisfied. Yep. Who's going to hit the delete button first? <laughs> not me. I'm not touching anything. Okay. Um, Here's a you. dumb question that we don't, I'm just going to put out there and then we can move on. Mm -hmm. We don't have to define permission, right? No. no. If we do, we got bigger issues. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> consent. Yeah. We'll start rule handing of, out books on consent. Thumb, yeah. thumbing, you only you usually have to define things where the dictionary definition doesn't match up. Oh, good to know. That's great. Yeah. Or you want to be super obvious, like what's a job? I love that. Yeah. I didn't think we could have an animal control statute without defining no. Yeah. Thank you. Great legal advice. Are you want yeah. my lighting, Emily? I see you. Mm -hmm. You're faster than me. <laughs> All right, now keep going on the rest. All right, so I'm going to keep going then. Um, the next comment was, oh, we did good. Rabies tags. Did Why dog like cannot get a license without proof of rabies? This is a requirement. Mm -hmm. Must be still attached to. So, so my comment saying, so that was my comment. I highlighted it because I didn't know why we had it in here. What I was saying is why it had to be in the in ordinance here. when it is a requirement of even getting a dog license. Oh. I agree, it seems redundant. How are we checking rape dog licenses? Does the animal control officer walk up to people and say, hey, can I see your dog's license? They can. I, well, they can, but they're not gonna have it on them anyway. They're just a tag. They can look at the well, tag. The, the dog's got it. The, the dog's dog got it, the they can look at the tag. As far as but the do they? Thing. I would think it's only for an issue. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? okay. Gotcha. Sort of, okay. Sort of on their name. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Would there be value? I'm just questioning. Would there be value to that if someone on the spot can't check if you? So if the dog bites someone, you know one way or the other whether. I don't know. I'm just, I, it's probably far fetched. And no, staffing. it's not far fetched. My question then would be if a dog has a license, don't they have to have something on their collar they have that to, reflects that as well? They have to have they have to have their rabies tag to get the license. Right. Mm -hmm. I think what she's saying but is I'm like saying if they don't walking, have it on and I'm not walking and a dog bites me. Yeah. It would be helpful. I'm not going to go right to the away. person's right. house to see the rabies license. Like, right. I would know right away that, okay, I don't have to worry about rabies. I'll have to deal with my cut. But not, I could see the tag on the dog. I don't know. I, I just don't. So there's two. So there's two tags. There's one for the the registration with the town, and then there's one for rabies. But if the dog doesn't have them on at all, you essentially don't know That's if my they're concern. a even registered or b if my they have rabies. Because if they wear them, okay. My dog just personal preference for me, and if I get in trouble, I do. But they rattle. And when they go through the woods, it's something for them to get their collar oh, off. Yeah, so, like yeah. running yeah. 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 so this this yeah. is not necessary then in my situation, not no I, worse I, issues. No, I think, no, no, I think, I think we're agreeing with you. We're saying if it's not a requirement that they have it on, then it, it may very well be helpful for exactly the reasons you said, and we could leave it. Because well, off the leash could also be an off collar. He doesn't so that they could right whatever. Yeah. yeah. But if something happens and the dog does something right. naughty yeah. uh, uh, then then he should be liable to or should be able to on his own right be able to provide provide the information that the dog bought. if you don't even know them to have the, 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 the yeah it's not the real, it's not realistic I think what this does because again if my dog did something to somebody hopefully she they never do they're getting my name and license and yeah. then they're going to go call the police and they're going to get all the information yeah. off yeah. the system. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like I have dog registrations and insurance right. yeah. and in my yeah. pocket. You know what I mean? They're going to so get, they're going to get me as the dog owner yes. and they're going to get my license. And then that's how that's going to proceed. So we we're more this. wanting to be able to know right away. Right. Like, do I have, do I, I worry about it, by a dog that has yeah. So right. unless they have a tag, if the owner's not going to provide you any information, you are not going to know. Right. And unless you get the owner's information and then can go to town hall and see if they have registered their dog then you can find out that way but again like if they haven't even registered their dog still don't know 
No, and then the flip side is even if they've registered their dog and it's licensed and has shots, they might not have their collar on. Yeah. yeah. And if you're on a Scarborough Beach, you could still have your dog registered in a different town. Correct. Yeah. Right. So but it's a state requirement. Yeah. So, so any town is required. I was no, I don't say, think, I think, think car. we should leave it in. It was just my question of like, am I am I missing something? No, I think, I, okay. I think you just undefine it and leave yeah. it. Yeah. So it's let's just, leave it. Because it's an overall town ordinance. Yeah. Right. I just said that yeah. it's so being obvious to your definition of obvious. Yeah, so I could say as required by state statute. Yeah. And then there you go. There you go. So if you have an issue with a dog, I can say, let me see your license. Yeah, because you're not just going to talk to the dog. You're not going to talk to the, you know. Well, she might. You're not yelling at the dog, but you're going to say, it's like a car accident. You know, you're going to get my information. You're going to get my, it may be bad enough where you're just calling the police. Yeah. Just like you do in a car accident. Yeah. You call the police and somebody comes. But at a minimum, you're going to change your information. And if I'm honest, I'm giving you my real name. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then. You're going to figure out to do what you need to do. You know yeah. what I mean? It is essentially like exchanging information at an auto accident. That's yeah. Word to the wise, yeah. give yeah. your real yeah. name if you're going to sign something. Just <laughs> <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> okay. So the next one, this is great teamwork. Um, I'm highlighting and everything. So the next question, this was my comment. They bark on occasion. Not necessarily annoying. Well, some people, but um, is this too restrictive? So the... Ordinance says 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. My dog outside barks, and I know the ordinance is 20 minutes. And if she is still barking past the 20 minutes, I bring her inside because I know that my neighbor will complain because they know the ordinance is 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So where do we, I see the comment mm -hmm. response, but do we, where do we say that? Do we need to say the 20 minutes? Where's I don't the 20 minutes. How, however, with, with that being said, a lot of this, I feel, is also geared towards beaches. Yes, it is. And not neighborhoods, which they, you know, it goes, the ordinance goes to both. But, like, if they're on the beach and running around, a lot of people don't care if the dogs are barking right. versus a neighborhood. But, again, this also applies to a neighborhood. And I think that was Autumn's comment when we were looking at the end of her formatting. But to your point, too, is that, you know, certain things are going to be in the definition section, certain things, and then, you know, we might need the here's the standards in the parks, here's the standards in the beach, but there's gotta be some. We essentially line. have it in the violation section, but again, we can totally reorganize it, but within this like 604, five each public property, and then this was one of the reorganization things and then broke it down into beaches. Here's what you can do, yeah. public places. Here's what you can do. So it, it, it is there. But Should Todd's comment though, if I'm a dog owner, I'm like animal noise. That's the section I'm going to go to. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, it is mostly beach, but say you're at a Little League game and people do bring their dogs, whether they're supposed to or not, right. the dog could be barking through the entire game, which is annoying. Where's the 20 minute rule? Is that in the definition? Is that what you were saying, Amanda? I didn't say anything about the 20 minute rule. I, I wasn't, yeah, Emily, it's in autumn, so maybe there might be a, a separate town ordinance that but it, really it's in the town ordinance. Weird. Oh, there you go. The animal noise, except this show longer than 20 minutes. There's a rapid, rapid succession in the original or more. It's in the original. This is in an autumn put in. Uh, yeah, right here. Yes. Okay. Right here in the animal noise for 20 minutes. Because he, well, anyway, but yes. It, Should we, can we say for, <laughs> can we just take that for 20 minutes or more? Can we add that to that A, point A? But that just might be, I don't know, there, that might just be like a nuisance to like an individual person. But like, if that's the case, like then, you know, why not put a, a time restriction on how long people mow their lawn? That's also a noise nuisance. Or leaf blowing or anything like that. So, like, where where do you draw yeah. the line on? Timing? There are some towns that limit leaf blowing noises, which is good, right? Because it is annoying, right? Mm -hmm. But like, you know, if you have three people that are mowing their lawns at the same time for an hour, and there's no restriction on that, but a dog that barks for twenty minutes is a nuisance. Yeah, but I think that I think what, there's the rule in the ordinance, and then there's the actual application. Yeah, like, exactly. And that, at the campground I stay at. The area that I'm in, she, she's like, "Is your dog a bark?" And I'm like, "Not really, unless you try coming to my camper. She's going to tell you." Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, um, she said, "But just so you know, this area, 
all has dogs and nobody cares if they're not. You walk over to that section, they're going to call the owner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it's like that. How, to your point, yeah. you know, you, when you're in bar, don't bark at my house. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah. But your neighbor's saying 20 minutes, let's, let's, you know, it just mm -hmm. gives them. Well, they don't say it in the, in the, the original, what in effect right now, 20 minutes. I think we have to do something because you can't say the yes. animal can't make any animal noise because an animal will make noise. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? I don't yes. care which way we go. We can either say it's 20 minutes, but we need to do something. I think the closer we keep certain things to the original definition, that's less to have to change. Okay. Unless we have a real good reason yeah, I agree. to okay. change it. So we can don't. we just add those that word? Do you want me to type or do you want Can we to? just not nix out this whole... Can you see me highlight it? Yes. All up, just take all that away. <clears throat> and then add in the 20 minutes. So if I take this add away. Same line that she's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. To make any animal noise. Do you uh, need this, Emily, so you can type quickly? The original, um, the, the animal noise yeah. being 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And okay. put that back in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, animal noise is, has the is defined. Yeah. It's in the definition section. That so do we need it again? Back. I knew it was in oh, okay. somewhere. Oh, then no. Yeah. What well, what we found yes. before okay. at, at Higgins and in okay, probably maybe any water and these refer back. Uh, That's a good areas idea. where your rentals mm -hmm. they, yeah, they'll yeah. leave their dogs in the house and they'll go off the and, and it's not there. Right. The 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 side they're just the not side. home, yeah. and so they're back. And yeah. you just tell the neighbor when he comes back, hey, bring the dog with you or whatever. Keep somebody at home. Right. Okay. But again, most of this is geared towards beach, which is yeah. which is where yeah. most yeah. of the problems yeah. are, not yeah. neighborhoods. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the next question is control of animal waste. In here. Oh, okay. So why do we need to go so far as to require a particular method? Well, as long as it's removed and disposed of the property, we've had to do that. So that highlight in yellow was the original. And owner waste present property. Yeah. So I guess in terms for simplification. Yeah. Do we need to specify? I think the only reason why there's a specific specificity, is that a word, um, is that it's the appropriate way to dispose of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In the sense of uh, getting a shovel and chucking it in the woods, or then you're dealing right. with wastewater and stormwater, yeah. you yeah. know what I mean? Um, I think I, that can be on my only guess why they said okay. bag and dispose of. Mm -hmm. I can think. So we'll keep that, that, get rid of that. Not part, part of the human, but then not the body. I'm like, quick, quick, someone wants to take it up with their hand and throw it away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to get involved. With yeah, that. exactly. Yeah. So do we want to add in this blue section as well? Yeah. Well, there actually was a court case in Portland a number of years ago. It goes back. There was a dog waste ordinance and an individual, actually, it actually went to court and he said, I have the means of removing dog waste and he held up oh. his hands. Oh. So I think that's, that's the background. <laughs> Rick, okay, all that the Rick is like the group of students. Yeah, that's Historian. <laughs> of all things. So based on that, limited, uh, yeah. Yeah. They came up with a definition of yeah. must have a yeah. plastic so this, whatever. So then the blue, blue is out. Oh, okay. yeah. Thank you. Leave that makes sense. Leave that Thank you, Rick. Those were just, just questions. Yeah, so, good for um, and I apologize in the part about animal noise, just real quick, where you put C animal noise definition just for language purposes. Can I put as defined in and put the section number? Yeah. Okay. You do whatever you want, Amanda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we trust you. We're just hackers. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Trish says really my, in, my inability. I to unhighlight it and add the text in, then you make it pretty. How yeah, about exactly. that? Okay. Perfect. All right. Trust that. Thing. I'm scrolling down. Okay. Trust that. An owner of the animal may not allow that animal to enter or remain on the property of another after the owner has been warned by the property owner by the, that the animal was found on the property of another. That is kind of confusing. Before, you, before we move on from animal waste, in our discussion at our last meeting, I, I have a recollection that we talked about an exemption for someone who is physically handicapped mm -hmm. and, and I don't remember what we discussed or what the conclusion of that was, but it's a little bit ambiguous because somebody could say, I mean, some, somebody might, there are people that, that have a physical disability that 
prevents them from being able to pick up dog waste. But then there are people that don't and puts our animal control officer and our rangers and staff in a position of saying, I believe you or I don't believe you. And so I noticed in Amanda's draft, that language got dropped. Yes, and I did, I did it for a particular reason. And now I, of course, can't remember what it was. It was either something that I read or it was in the notes. And um, I can go back and look. And obviously, if you want to put it back in, put it back in. But I, uh, I well, read it something. Get, it, it did get put back in in... Yes, I know probably. a lot did. Yeah. I feel like the conclusion yeah. we came to was that if you couldn't properly care for a dog, no matter what, what physical what capabilities I, note, you I, had, I that right. you, you had to care for them. Yeah, like I if mean, you couldn't care for them, you shouldn't be out walking your right. dog in public to where right. you couldn't pick up their poop. Right. Yeah. 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 But if you were walking so your dog, in Autumn's copy, it does resurface. It says I think she put. I think she kept stuff in there that we. have discussed right. and this got right. decided so, to take out which is why we're doing this copy so, so however we feel about it yeah. there's an inconsistency no i i like i said i would not have taken that out and without reason so either i yeah. i probably well, we, was in the notes from last meeting if yeah. i did that I, I do recall a conversation about it in this yeah. meeting yeah, yeah. And in we this did. committee so I think I we stay on the path and we're on as yeah exactly it's it's like it's you, it's you, i think this is we can cross reference Okay, so for the trespass, whoever made the suggestion, I think it is clear. I don't know how um, you guys feel. And that's fine. It's a copy and paste from the statute, but we can absolutely make it more user-friendly. Oh, well, I like the suggestion. An animal owner must not allow their animal to enter or stay on someone else's property after being warned by the property owner or an animal control officer that an animal was previously found on their property. The owner of an animal is responsible for removing it. I think that makes sense to me. Oh, as clear as you can get. Animal must not be found. After being warned, that's mm -hmm. um, but it says it's okay. Yeah. I do think uh, what was there um the bit, the responsible owner. Okay. Animal owner they must not allow the animal their animal to enter. Okay, that's good. I, I think if an owner tells the dog owner that I don't want your dog on my property, then that's right. That's Clear. Setting yeah. the boundary and yeah. that's it. He needs not to come back. Yeah. And the owner shouldn't let it go. But now we're using the term animal owner and previously we were using responsible well, whatever, responsible whatever. Well, whatever. Well, it was a response wasn't it was an owner or keeper of an animal, which okay. was like if your dog's sitting at your house or something gotcha. like that. So I think responsible party or would be the correct term to mm -hmm. use here. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so a responsible I, party. I apologize. Yes. Did you get that one? <laughs> I did. You're so much faster than my brain. So I I'm know. like the responsible party may not allow the animal to Oops. enter or remain on someone else's property after being warned by and I'll just tell you the statute says by law enforcement authorized employee of the permanent animal control, you can certainly just put ACO because in that definition we included for yeah. their designee. So yeah. I think we can yeah. narrow that for sure. ACO. Um, I don't know if it matters. The state statute also references um, an animal being unattended, like on the road. I don't know if we have any desire to include that, but it's also considered an animal. I think that's tricky because if the if we if the dog escapes or if there's like there's no tags on it and the owner doesn't know that that uh like the tags are up or something there you're not also going to be able, able to identify who the dog's owner is without the tags as well yeah. no i know just letting oh, you know that's no. what the statute said in case you know, it's running down with one mm -hmm. <laughs> skip next okay dogs at large dogs at large um is unlawful like to be at large yeah. except when you're still hunting do we need that are the restrictions or limitations should they be specified? When I Googled that, well, you know, looked at the other statutes, I saw you deleted my note, Todd. I did? Yeah, that, I got an <laughs> email. I know, I know, I know. I, no, um, right, right. I'm not, but I let me <laughs> let me look for it so I can remind myself what I saw. Cause it's I got a notification yeah. that oh. um what? Hold on. Okay. One of these? Okay. Todd Sosa. Uh, add town of Scarborough does not permit rifle hunting ordinance 603 without permission from the landowner is what I added and then it looks like Todd 
got rid of, which is fine. Might have been autumn. But is it more the definition of hunting you wanted to clarify? Yes. Or? Because the question so when was, are hunting. there restrictions or limitations on hunting? hunting. Yeah. And within the town, you mean? That's a different statute, but it is a different ordinance. Does at Do large reference that ordinance? It's 603. So why don't we just say except and use for hunting as permitted by and put that ordinance yeah. number? Yeah. What is what is the definition of at large? Exactly what's here isn't a dog at large is it is unlawful for any dog licensed or unlicensed to be at large except when used for hunting. No, I know. I want to know what the at large definition is. Is that is that code for loose? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that code. Well, yeah. I, don't Layman's term. Term. I didn't know what it meant. Yeah. As permitted by or ordinance. What was the number? Can we six can we change the word at large? I would say in the definition, yes. In the title, we shouldn't because it it exactly yeah. matches yeah. what the ACO yeah. go into charge. Like, can we say like unsupervised or something no, similar? I mean, no, I stick with that large if that's the word. Again, this is gonna this is really a police document. We're gonna have right. to read it. Right, right, but citizens who are not police who don't understand are gonna be reading it. And we yeah. need to make sure that they understand it. But I think ignorance is not a defense. Right. Why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Um, at large. Me, I think at large, you something. kind of know that it's. I was sitting here. I didn't know what it is. I'm pretty smart. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> now you know. Yeah. <laughs> Wandering around. But that's what I'm saying. Like, can we can we add in another word to further define that or clarify it? Like, if my dog is out on the park or like on the park without the leash under voice control, are they at large? Because they're not on a leash. Well, no, because well, no, then they'd be under voice control. Yeah, so it's basically unrestrained in like all the other ways we define leash, um, right. unleash, voice control, sight control. If you're not any of those, then the dog is at large. It's like an at large. We friendly. say that to be at large or uncontrolled. What, whatever you just said, unrestricted, unrestrained, Un unrestrained and or uncontrolled. Yeah. Yes. Sure. We just have to make sure I think that title remains the same. You want that in the I definition, though, not in this section? No, I, well, say that again. So we're, we're in the, we're in the dogs at large section. Yeah. Do we want to add that sentence into um, that section? Or the definition that comes before it? I would defer to what you think I'd would say be definition, understood. right? As long as we have the general definition and then you could put but you know, at large refers to dogs that are uh, unrestrained and or uncontrolled. Oh, it, it says it in Almost definition A, a designation of a dog that is off the premises of its owner, not within 50 feet of its owner, and not under voice control of any responsible okay, party. Okay, so it is. We've okay. got the definition. It's under but okay. even that isn't yeah. that clear is when I read oh, okay. just that. Okay, so what But that's fine. Um, I liked unrestricted, unrestrained, but... So can we just add in a sentence to that then? In the definition section, yes. not in the later time. In the definition. Yeah, so right now the definition says a designation of a dog that is off the premises of the owner, not within 50 feet of its owner, and not under voice control of any responsible party. So do we... Okay. That's different. That's fine. Yeah, I think yeah. that's good. It's the that's violation fine. is like referencing the statute versus the definition. Yeah, I think that definition is fine. And we can always refer to the definition like mm -hmm. we did in the other one yeah. too. I can. These two I, are different. The one that we're looking at and the one right. that's here is different. Yes. But I do think under 604-5F, we should we say, except when used for hunting as permitted by ordinance. Yeah, I think that was a really good idea. What was it? Ordinance? 603. 603. State or town? Town. Actually, there I think there's a state law about that too. You can post no hunting on your property, mm -hmm. but if you don't post it, people can actually hunt on your property. That's really like, crazy. It is crazy when we moved here from Massachusetts. Emily, once you're done typing, I'll add in the reference to the definition. Okay. Okay. We're making good progress. Um, okay, under beaches, leash six hundred four five H one, we said that bring the dog within the ten feet, and where that's what our agreement was. That's where we landed, right? Mm -hmm. okay, let me get to where sorry, we, sorry, where are we at? 604-5H public property okay. beaches. And we said so 10 we feet. We all agreed that on that. Four or five H public streets and sidewalks. Well, there were no there were no comments. There were no comments. We're just uh, going we're only comments. going through the comments. 
Oh, okay. Then we just need to highlight. I thought I highlighted that the A is eight and B is 10. Are they all owner? Maybe that you, was it. You got to go back up. You went too far. Oh, beaches. Sorry. Yep, right there. Beaches. Okay. okay. There we go. Okay. So then the following restriction. Yes, 10. Okay. Two. All owners must have dogs on leash no longer. I thought we changed it to 12. So did we I, talk I, differently at different times of the year? We did. It was very, yes. Yeah. But we also said that if the personal space rule is 10 feet, then the leash should match the 10 feet. So oh, it's... right. But then did we look and see what the average size of leash is coming? The note said suggestion that we change the current language to 8 feet versus 12 feet. Mm. Yes. That doesn't mean you can't change it now, but sure. that's, I think, yeah. why that was there. Sure. Well, and then if you look at point B, all owners must have a dog, oh, no longer than eight feet. So we're agreeing with eight feet. So all the 10 feet should be eight feet. That's it's that it. the dog has to be within 10 feet of them. So you oh, have him or her, not the leash. I'm sorry. That's two yeah. feet. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. the leash. Yeah. 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 Got it. Okay. Sense. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. But we also discussed, not to clarify this, is that it's away from the your personal space boundary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not. The dog at two feet and eight feet, um, that my dog's touching me now. I'm really 20 feet away from you. Right. You still have to honor the 10 I'm feet. I'm 20 feet. Right. The dog right. is eight well, feet. The leash is yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's really not a measurement tool because right. I'm, I'm right. Yes, yes, yes. The very I could be a mile leash. I'm right. still two right. feet from you. Yeah. Yeah. Still the dog is. Ridden. So I think these yeah. are correct the way that they're written is eight, is eight feet and 10 feet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay, next. Think, now we're getting yeah. to the public. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I like oh. to say that uh, this all, well, I have a little write up on that, and I sent it to Emily, and I should have sent it to you. Mm -hmm. uh, Which mainly because the the uh, the town is looking at uh, changing the ordinance of the piping forward. Where is yeah, that? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. yeah, that's the next and, one. And the piping forward, they're hoping to move it from. April 15th to April 1st. And I have this thing, if you, what I, I think, because there are two that, different three different awesome. ways of looking yeah. at it. You're, you're looking at April to, oh, awesome. to Labor Day, and Labor Day to April again is, is something different. And, and I've got it yeah. kind of. So right in your packet, yeah. and we're going to talk about it next, but yeah. um, Jamie Fitch, who worked with, yeah. The plover group yep. and the dog group yep. made the changes, but Jamie sent me today, which I put in your packet. Mm -hmm. It's an overview of updates of six ten piping plover. So she put the highlights down for you guys. Mm -hmm. So if you, you know, yeah. yeah. And she works for you, or she, she works, works for the town. For the town. Yeah. For the She's town. on the sustainability committee. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She's an employee. So just so I yeah. understand what, what you're referring to. Are you saying that there's the reference to another statute? Is that what we're trying to add? Or? Yeah, that's okay. what they want to, to have, what they're going after the change. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to look at that and maybe uh, support them. Or have similar dates. Well, this or is April similar 1st dates anyway. This already says April 1st to Labor Day. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the original says 15th. Oh, well, we're on April 1st, so we're good. Yes. If we're on, if we're on well, April 1st. Well, we have 1st the April 1st to Labor Day, and then there's that separate subsection of May 15th to Labor yeah. Day. Is that still that part okay? Why are there two? I know. Yeah. It's okay. so confusing. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting, I read the yeah. signs at the beach, and I'm confused yeah. because of those two different. Yeah. I like, remember being very confused. Like, I have that. to read it. Like, anyway. there should just oh. be one rule from Labor Day. Yeah. From, yeah. Memorial Day to Labor Day, and then Labor Day to Memorial Day. Like that's okay. the. I it. think yeah. that first section specifically deals with the restricted areas for pipe and plumbers. So we need to label that. That that's true. We need it, and it's, it's going to be. It's going, going, we didn't name it. I, right, it does say Section six hundred four point four fourteen, which I is that the pipe and plumber one or is that no? That's so oh, I I'm wondering if we reverse the order. The following restrictions apply to dogs and beaches May fifteenth to Labor Day. The following restrictions apply to dogs on beaches from the day after Labor Day to May 14th, and then put the pipe in further mm -hmm. and refer back to the piping plover. There are additional restrictions um, from April 1st <laughs> to Labor Day yeah. in re related to the restricted area. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We have uh, over there right now, we've got 49 uh, people uh, uh, volunteering from seven o'clock in the morning until not, uh, five and uh, five nine in the morning from seven to nine and in the evening from five until eight 
what's happening now is this thing starts on April or May 15th is when we have people out there. Yeah. So there's a there's, there's a, a section of town yeah. that we ask people to go out and, and protect the birds. And that this year, believe it or not, we had seven or eight nests and, and we've hatched something like uh, eight Eight times four is whatever it is. 32. And we've lost about nine of them, but we're going to hopefully in two weeks have our total number of 11 birds fledged. But this still says, to your point though, Roger, this still says April 1st to label. Yeah, but it's confusing yeah, but in it's this confusing. ordinance. There's, so we need to label it. There's, well, there's three different things. They all basically say the same thing. So can we just have one thing? No, they yeah. don't though. The first one, I think we should say the following restrictions apply to dogs on beaches in restricted areas. Yes. And then as discussed in Piper Plover, whatever, ordinance number, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. That, and then the next section, the following restriction applies to dogs on all beaches, uh, on beaches. So we just need to label that first one as dealing with the piping flubber. And I think to your point, Roger, it does say April 1st. So we're in sync. Yeah. 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 Because the, the difference okay. in okay. this right, right And that may be a problem getting that passed when you have so 99 million dogs, dogs on beaches and restricted in areas. Line saying that piping, right. Yeah. And I would capitalize piping, restricted areas. Piping. Oops. Like and if that yeah, that would happen, you would put dogs is on it a time term? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it is. And they capitalize it as restricted okay. area in the piping plumber or in Oh, uh, okay. As well. I thought they did. Maybe. They, yeah, yeah, but it's, it's in, in ours, too. It's in our definition. Yeah, it's in ours. And, and it refers to exhibits. Right. Okay. So I think we should don't. capitalize at least the first yeah. two letters. The whole thing doesn't have to be capitalized. But okay. So everything else there is good. Yeah, it matches up and nothing's changed in that proposal. No, because again, the clubbers and the dog group worked on it and they didn't change everything to April 1st. So, yep. you know, we don't yeah. want to, um, yeah, yeah, match we, that yeah we have to be consistent. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So we move into public streets and sidewalks. Yep. Okay. okay. Um, the question, no, we're unclear about whether we wanted these two rules in this section. I don't know how you on a sidewalk. Which, oh, yeah. So it's basically, do we want them within 10 feet? Because we thought that could effectively be someone would have to be walking in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Can I just ask, just back to the restricted area thing, so it's restricted area as discussed in the piping clover ordinance, but we also define restricted areas within this ordinance. Okay. So then are they consistent with one another? I would just another? put as defined. Yeah, as defined in restricted areas. Sorry. But, but they should put as defined. As defined as I was going to say, or just this. both. As defined, we refer, refer to this okay. ordinance would take care of everything on the beach. Well, I, would still leave, I would still leave the term restricted areas in that okay. first underline because yeah. otherwise, yeah. like we all looked at it like, why are they listing three areas. different dates for the beaches? Because it's in the piping it's clover. Not, it, it's not as a up. definition in the piping clovers. Restricted area? No, it's in the in it's the in dog one, one, the dog one. one. But so, you were saying it was in both. I thought it was in both. No, all right. I don't, we have it in it's restricted areas it. because it also defines the beaches. What they are. Okay, yeah. so we so, put. Let me see. The following restrictions apply to dogs and beaches. As the front uh, one I think we have to put maybe the following restrictions apply to dogs in restricted areas of beaches or something like that. this wording, and it might just be that I'm tired, isn't making sense to me for some reason. The following restrictions apply to dogs on beaches as defined in restricted areas. Or no, the following restrictions apply to dogs on beaches in, on restrict in, in in the restricted areas on beaches. That's what it said. Yeah. Apply to dogs on beaches in restricted areas. Okay. Yeah. No, actually, it was right. Apply to dogs on beaches in the restricted areas. Period. Period. But it's no. Wait. We don't need that. It can just say April first to Labor Day. Right. Wait. And just get rid of that rest of it. I, but I thought you wanted to keep the piping clover ordinance. We can take it out, oh, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can take it out. All right. Um, moving along. Following restrictions apply to dogs on beaches in the restricted areas. April right. First of the exactly. That's much clearer. Okay. Public streets and sidewalks. Do we want to include 
Do we want to include the specifics? I guess that's the question. Is that, eight, was, that was my note. I didn't we already? Asking. Or isn't it already? We just want to say all owners must have dogs on a leash no longer than eight feet. Is that the beach rule too? I can't remember. We went back and forth. I think it's across the board, right? Okay. Yeah. So I like the consistency, I think. Yeah. Otherwise it gets too confusing. So you want to keep the 10 feet personal space. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it was like you a just say no, leash, earlier section. So leash should language. be eight max. Yes. Personal space would be 10. Yes. Leash allow. So leash you leash to allow the owner to bring the dog within the 10 feet of him or her. At all yes. Times. Periods. Periods. We've already said space barriers, so we don't really need point C, right? All over the situation. Well, C is different than space barrier. This right. is within. All owners must ensure that all non responsible. So, so that your dog is to be within 10 feet of you, but you also have to honor the other. Okay, all right, fine. Area. So we need both. Oh, yeah. Let's leave it for yeah. consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But we're calling it personal yeah, space. Yeah, and I can. Personal do space, fine, not barriers. On right, mm -hmm. to getting rid of the word barriers. Yeah. Although okay. Emily is so quick. <laughs> Making busy. Personal <laughs> space. Okay. I'm just going to keep moving along. Yeah. I want to yeah. all other permissible uh, permissible locations. Leash may be up to 30 feet by the county bar. Okay. This doesn't seem to jive with what yeah, we has talked about before. Within up to 30 feet. Can so, you scroll up, Todd, just a little bit? What are other permissible okay. locations? Yes, exactly. So we have public streets, mm -hmm. sidewalks, and trails. They have to be on the neighborhoods. Eight feet. You were talking about that. You were talking about the well, grassy sidewalks. field, like Memorial yeah. Park or something, yeah, right? So that would be an neighborhood, and that's what Alex was talking like, about. What about my cold, what about my cul-de-sac? Would be so far in a neighborhood. Yeah, but it depends on, on a street. But it depends on where you are. Like, and Alex was mentioning it too with what they're going through with Portland. Is like, I have training leashes when my dogs are puppies, and they're long because yeah. you want to be able to let your dog go, call and reward them with them being on a leash, and so. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't have a yard or a street they can do it, so they'll go to a certain area, you know. And I think it's okay <clears throat> because when you go back to the other stuff, the personal space and the and uh, uh, still applies. Yeah, because it leash may be up to thirty feet while accounting for. And again, we can change the wording to be more correct, but the non-responsible party's personal space. Yeah. Right. So it's no okay. matter what. Here yeah. you have room to roam, but you see someone else. Right. You got to pull them in. I, yeah. Then that's let's just put personal space, yeah. and that seems to be okay. good. And that meets our desire without spinning something out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I think I that's like the personal space. Fine. Thing. It's really easy yeah. to understand. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Oh yeah. Keep going. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know we're so yeah. I'm imagining like a pool noodle going around yeah. my kids. I like, don't I, come I, in I, I pool noodle. walking down Higgins with an umbrella just whacking. Yeah. <laughs> There's that. So you um, want to see that at that. House. Okay. So the we're moving on to the violation section. Um <clears throat> violation 6045E trespass and fails. Okay. So then the comment was Upon receipt of payment by town clerk, the animal control officer shall cause the site to something is dismissed. It cannot be deemed admitted or used to enhance for future penalties. This was just me telling you some legal mumbo jumbo. Okay, <laughs> concerned. <laughs> so, so we do we know is that well, it's just that the town can't dismiss something. That was all. So, oh. we need to change the wording upon request yeah. of such payment. The town I cannot can choose you not could to. choose not to turn it in no but, which is certainly fine to be but, neglected so the sort of this first sentence upon receipt et cetera, the, be deleted the animal control officer mm -hmm. i think you could say upon receipt of such payment by the town clerk the animal control officer could i if you say shall then it's mandatory yeah, um, could. Um, could or may either word at would be their discretion may cause the citation to be withdrawn. I think that would be better. Yeah, than there you go. Because okay. what they would typically do is either they would never turn it in mm -hmm. to the court, or if they did, they'd call the prosecutor and say, please make this go away. Yeah, and they would. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Usually. And Great. the second sentence would have violation. to stay, however, the violations or you can... However, the violations alleged in the citation shall be deemed in it. So that was just, we have some references to prior violations. So I think that language was in the original we were dealing with. So that even though it may have not been adjudicated in court, the town would still be aware that it was something that had been used. Um, just know that if it went to court, they likely, they may not treat it as like a second offense, mm -hmm. even if the town does. So do we need that? I think, you I, I think so, yeah. yeah. I think so, because yeah. the town, like we have record here on a rec track. Okay. If somebody doesn't pay something, we put a note. Yeah. Know, we may not yeah. allow them to, yeah. without a payment plan or something. 
Okay, so the last comment were the appendices. And that was just the pictures of the restricted areas. Oh, I didn't have the energy to try and put them. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> so we, they just need to be added, right? Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to make sure they got included with okay. whatever yeah. ultimately So out. we should keep that highlight. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, whoa. Good. Great job. Yeah, everyone. That's awesome. Amanda. So, yeah, and this is good teamwork. Um, Todd, what, how do we... You've got the document now. Do you go back to... Does it we hand it to you now, and where do you... Sandy. Can we delete this other word version so we don't get confused? Yes, yeah, please. Yes, yeah, please do. Because okay, cool. obviously that. Show me how to and, not script for And in the title, <laughs> Emily, can, can you just what? put in the title, can you put updated version? One that says edit this version? That's the one you're using. Yes. But can you just put today's date so then that's. Yeah, maybe take yes. out where it says a Doherty draft with TV comments. Well, yeah. also oh, table of contents. Oh, the date. table of contents. This will need to be completely redone yeah. with yeah. Doherty. Because the page numbers will be all. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. That so back. that still needs to be done and you can put a date. Perfect. But then Autumn's going to go through this and. No, put Autumn it... doesn't need to do so. No. So okay. what, what she was trying to help organize the thing based on some of the drafts she's doing. So the, the, the decision from you guys is. Um, and you would need to draft something that says, you know, we've made suggestive changes to this. We'd like to recommend this moves through the process review process. And then it would go to ordinance committee and they would say, have you please seen it. Had anybody that's affected by it seen it before they would act on it? And so is again, there anything we need to do to facilitate? I yeah, what's would, our next step? I think you would just write an email as the as the chair, you guys can make a motion if you want, but I think it's something from this board that says, we've made these edits and suggestions. We would like to further this in the process for consideration. I guess I'm saying, do we need to like send it to Chief Homequest or anything like that ourselves, or is that something? So that what I'll do is I will check with um, Autumn, who's, who's in charge. Because I'm happy to yes. help do that. Yep. why I yep. wanted to. So who do we send the email send to? Send it to me, and then I'll just forward it to Autumn, say we're looking for guidance on how we move this along. Yeah. And she would say, here's past practice. Go see. Okay. So I send it to you and I'll see, see the record. And then I, once I get that answer, then I can respond back to the group. And if you say, you know, Amanda was willing to present it or whatever, you know. Okay. Perfect. Then we can do that, Wonderful. whatever that works. But just know, and that's why doing it now is prudent because it takes months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, yeah. And the yeah. goal with fees changing and everything is, to, my goal is to get everything wrapped up by the end of the year. So come January 1, we're starting a marketing plan. And well, that, I was just going to say, and that will then roll into signage. Everything. So for the next year. Because when we decide okay. what fees we're going to change to okay. or, or suggest, yep. that goes, that's got to go before council for multiple readings, just yep. like anything else in the fee schedule. So that's just not a one and done. So is the, is the process that this gets rewritten, finished, and then the ordinance committee has to review it and approve it and then submit it to the town council and then they the approve it? Process. So yeah. this is going yeah. to the ordinance committee? Yes. Yeah. So this will eventually get to the ordinance committee. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then it gets to council. And then, I mean, it's it's a four or five month process if everything goes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you're like state and, legislation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that should be looked at what we're doing along with the piping. Uh, yeah, they're working they're, on that. Yes. They're yeah. working on that. Yeah. And, and, uh, and Jamie's going to Present this, yeah. At the uh, okay. so just a no. reminder in terms of time, it is now seven thirty. We've got a half an hour more, and the other items were the piping cover, um, the beach parking fees, and an update on this community center. Given Tom Hall's the latest update, so <laughs> do you have any suggestions? I mean, when I chatted with Jamie, the piping flubber thing does not have to be addressed tonight because they're it's, you know they're moving forward with it. Um, I think the actions you've taken this evening as far as trying to keep some of the language and dates are the same. I think if, you know, if we, when we meet in September, if you guys review the ordinance and those notes and you made a recommendation, I will say the only thing I want you guys to look at in the ordinance and Jamie's notes is the recreation stuff, because I think that's what's in your wheelhouse. Distances, being able to run where, when, personally. If I, I think there's one thing that I would recommend striking and for you guys can read it and make your own thing is the running. Um, because there's no way to enforce it. You know, I think the distances are good. I think the the kites and the games and stuff, but there's no way you're going to tell a kid not to run. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so th those are the things in your wheelhouse as community service, your job to review. And I think um, 
chime in on not the environmental piece not the you know so do we maybe want to um up we can upload this again people can review it let's say give them a month and then any whatever comments are in by a month then you just take and then send it back to jamie and then that's that's I think it. we already, yeah, we mentioned that, and I think it's already there because I think I did send that out, right? And I said, take a look at it. I think it's already there. I, was, I, I believe you agree. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. no I don't know. I don't. Um, oh, it is okay. It is in the drive. Okay, but there's no, there's no. It's as a PDF. It's not as a Word doc. Oh, we needed that. Right. I'm sorry. Nope, that's okay. So we can't add comments, but I don't. I don't think we need to add it to the agenda or for further meetings. I think we give everybody a month to add in their comments, right? And then say, here's the deadline. Put your stuff in. Then you have the document with all of those comments yeah. and can pass it on. Yeah. So, is it will it be possible for you to get that in a non PDF form? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The so, only yeah. Ooh. The only caveat I would add is once we get all those comments, if there's something we can't agree on, yeah, or can can both okay. I can sorry can agree on. Yeah. You know what I mean. Then I would ask that gets to agenda. So maybe Trisha, and I, you can after the deadline, you and I look at it, and if there's something that that sparks conversation, then we can send it out yeah. to everybody. Okay, so there would be consensus on this issue. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so that that will be in the minutes, which we'll send. But I can also send a. We I'll missed all of you who weren't here. Have you deadline. said it, I can I upload it to the drive, and I then just did. Oh, great. Okay, mostly by accident. I'm just going to just get out. Of, I'm just <laughs> no, when I opened the PDF, it said open in Google Docs, and then it automatically. Oh, great. It to the well, you rejected my comment. Yep, there it is. Uh, that was good. <laughs> it's not on purpose. But I got but... an email. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't, I didn't okay, yeah. if you refresh, oh, I had the Google reference to the go to the drive and refresh. It'll pop up. six ten. All right. So all right. So I'll include this in the email out to everybody else with the minutes, and then we'll set a deadline of. What is it? July, August, August fifteenth. Sure, that gives a month. Perfect. So you'll say that specifically in the email that you send out. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to close the this. I don't think the beach this. parking fees is going to take five minutes, and I'd that. rather do get an update. I feel like the ad hoc community center update is time sensitive. If we think we need to push back on Tom Hall to say, let's get this on the ballot, and I'd love to hear people's thoughts on that i guess i have one question where i need we need a little guidance on the beach parking fees do i think they need to change and go up yeah yes yeah. yes what i what i think this committee needs to think about and this is super important for me to understand is why what are we trying to obtain with fees is it a quality is it more access for residents is it a specific problem like you said the morning users aren't paying their fair share like what are we trying to do? Because then when I like for me, I have suggestions of like, I would like more Rangers next year. I would like uh, make improvements to the bathrooms. Those things, I can start getting prices to that. So when I when we meet again, I can say adding this is going to cost another $30,000. How do we raise it from fees and deal with the inequality of morning beach users? And okay, so I'm going to give us three minutes, literally three minutes, yes, <laughs> and we're all going to go around and you can write these down yep, and you can three record. Minutes. Um, why would we, each of us suggest raising fees? And you can say more than two, one yeah. thing, but we'll start with you. Wait, wait, minutes. sorry. I need to clarify a question. Like I thought that like, which, which like all of them or just the $5 one? The beach fees. You get oh, five, the 15 beach or 30. Fees. Like what? So I guess it's why would we raise them in general? Let's yes. knock it into the nitty gritty in three minutes if I yeah. could make that suggestion. And just why would you raise fees at the beaches? Because they're it's five, it's like five the five dollar morning morning and then the 15 for the day or the 30 for the on the weekend, weekend. right? Yeah. Right. So it's it's just a, taking one of those three and then well, potentially raising all of that. Yeah. Right. Well, we can do whatever we want. Some can say the same. Do you want me to go first? Yes, because I'm prepared. Go. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I I really liked what you said about the equity issue on the morning. So the morning people are paying five dollars and some are staying all day. And a lot of the people who are coming in the morning are from other towns. My second thing is every time you talk to um someone a resident on a hot day, how hard it is to get into most of the beaches. Yep. So we need to use the fees as a rationing to prioritize residents yep. over non-residents. Okay. Anybody up next, Roger? I agree with what she said. And and uh, 
the, the thing is, is everybody's saying, well, the residents don't want to pay. I don't have a problem with the residents because they've got a nice fee of $40 right. that can take care of that. And that should be the end of the story. And uh, people out there on the thing said, if you're a resident, go get that pack. And then you can, for another $5, you can put two cars on. Right. So, uh, we're not, that, we and that's where we want to be. And yeah. I'd rather give the parking space to our residents and not so much. And the other thing is, is the other towns that, that restrict their dogs and they don't have a beach to go to. Yeah, okay. it's, it's not our fault. Amanda, um, I support the raising of fees generally when it's going to secure costs that will improve what mm -hmm. is happening in those locations, yep. such as adding additional rangers, et yep. cetera, making bathrooms better. Um, so that's the primary reason that I would support it. Okay. Raise fees and improve services. Yeah, yes. services. To improve beaches. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think fees uh, serve a function of rationing a scarce resource and helps to cover some or recover some of the costs that we've expended. I don't think that we should use it as a profit making tool, though. I don't think that we should be using it to raise money so we don't have to right. pay for other things. I disagree because it's the beaches of like the three categories of community services that's the only one that makes money to pay for anything else. If you want the nice parks and you want the park rangers I'll be that's where the money comes from it's from the beaches so right. I don't necessarily agree with raising them but they need to be equal it should just be like one fee across the board and then resident passes that's it I'm gonna pretty much agree I'll say yeah. rationing and I the bathrooms are in major need of repair <laughs> I don't care how you raise money if the beach fees do yeah. that so I would agree to, Amanda said yeah. perfectly we need to improve and we more ranges would be great Mm -hmm. Yes, more rangers. So I think we're kind of, as a committee, it sounds like we're kind of on the same yeah. page. And that gives me guidance when I go look. So just my three minutes is, is or 30 seconds is, this past year we expended $433,000 and we made four hundred ninety six. So we covered all of our expenses plus. The way that it works is that once it's audited, that 60000 whatever dollars will go to the beach reserve account to be able to use like this year in the budget We've got at Heard Park, we've got money for automated gates, crack sealing and stripe and striping the lot, building the trolley bus stop, and replacing all the fence at Heard at Heard Park. All that is coming out of the reserve account. So to Emily's point, we made money. Yeah. It's going back into reinvest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so but but on the opposite, when we have a bad year that rains all summer and we don't make our revenue projection. Right. It comes out of that reserve. So that's how that account works. So that's a positive thing. But when I then I can go look at it and it's nice to have this when we're thinking about why. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we say, okay, how do I get to that? Well, that's Rangers. That's um, we've just added porta potties to Herd Park because the bathrooms keep breaking. Right. You know what I mean? So with that that remodel. So yeah. it, it's justifiable and it's thoughtful. And then when we go back to set the fee, you know, um, Penny did a good job of putting that chart together that we have of how many days with our data, how many days, how much, how much you can make. I think it was 28% more, you know, but I like having a reason why we're raising it to put it together. So then I can now work on a budget to talk about what's next, you know. So and not say for profit or anything like that, because obviously right. that's not what we want to be putting forward, but right. more to protect ourselves in a bad year or right. to yep. uh, help benefit. Or yep. like when we had the storms, the, you had to clear the sand out of the parking lot. Oh, that yeah. was probably not budgeted. Yeah, luckily, once we get fee, we, we're getting reimbursed for that. So that's a positive fee must okay. reimbursement. Okay. So we got lucky there. Some years we don't, and then some years things happen. So right. Um so on on times that you have a good year for the other departments that don't make that income, does that money go towards those departments? So no. So sure. everything in our department besides parks. Sorry, not department. Division. Categories within yes. community services. So within community services. Besides parks, everything is 100% covered in fees. All rec programs? Everything. As a whole. One may make child care brings in an extra 60, which covers senior programs that don't cover 100%. So everything except for parks, that $900,000 of cost to keep up our parks is covered. So that's, not, so that's what yeah. I'm saying, like beach, yeah. you know, like if Rex essentially pays for itself through yes. rec fees, you know, extra money that comes in from the beaches helps to... Uh, no, beaches is, is its own. The beaches is a reserve account. But that so what I'm asking is like any extra money that comes in from beaches that has covered the cost of what you need for does that extra money go into helping to maintain parks? No, just stays in the beach world. 
Good. So that 60 grand mm -hmm. is going to go into reserve account. Yeah. And that's how I'm paying for the projects yeah. mm -hmm. that happen. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's a good setup because then, because most towns, the extra would go to the general fund. Right. And you lose it. Right. They yeah. made yeah. this yeah. choice a yeah. long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. So, where does the money come from for parks? Uh, taxes. Taxes. Okay. Yep. Or so. we make about 60 grand in taxes for rentals and fees and stuff like that. They have a little bit of revenue, but it, that's where. So, when you look at our budget, and I say our budget is 85% self funded, what you're paying for in your property taxes is straight parks offset. Yeah. So, so Penny, thank you for bringing this to our attention. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we will keep you in the loop, right? Yeah. I mean, is there, is this? Yeah. Yeah. And like I so said, I, I think we all agree that fees need to change. Yes. And then we can start working on what that looks like. All right. So the conversation will continue. Well, great. I will probably be sitting in on your issue. Yes. Yeah. 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 We're here. I, I, got a, I got one question. How, when do we have to have the fees set so that they can become uh, January? January. No, well, yeah, January. The 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 goal, or, my goal is for us to roll this all out by the have this all locked down by the end of the year so we can go to council before the holidays. Because once you hit the holidays, no one meetings change, no one wants to think. I want a decision made by the time January 1st, the, after the holidays. So, oh, 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 yes, that's why getting this done, tackling this at our next meeting and finalizing the recommendation and then having it go to council as here is uh, through Karen, you know, okay. to be able to be voted on at a November meeting, get it ready for January. Okay. Do they do July fiscal year, though? Uh, we're... July, mm -hmm. January, July 1st to June 30th is our fiscal year. Okay, just so we'll yep. And just since we sort of just tackled what the agenda is, one of our agenda items, we'll let the next meeting. So the next meeting on September 12th will be beach fees. We had volunteer recruitment, which we can keep on there. Protocol question. We're going to do most of the work for the piping clever ordinance. Independently. Um, independently. Do we need to do that vote on that? those changes in a public meeting before we can send them forth? Just for like transparency and due diligence and well, I don't know what the protocol is. Um, are we making the edits or are we commenting on edits made by another? I let me get clarification and yeah. I'll look back. The worst was the worst with added to the agenda. That's what I was thinking. Like I would prefer not to spend a whole meeting doing what we did for the dog ordinance, but I'm sure that there is some requirement that we do something in public for the public to be aware of what our recommendations are. Gotcha. Yep. Confirm. So we'll kind of add all of those things and we and then we can add it between now and September 12th. Okay. Anything else before we move on and wrap up at the community center? Mm -hmm. All right. The sorry, uh, the open space meeting uh yeah. scratched or not. Totally I no, cool. I I cannot, I withdrew from the committee. I okay. cannot do it and I didn't have anyone else volunteer. Just okay. Do they and I think their last meeting was canceled anyway. And okay. I think I forwarded the minutes to that meeting. Okay. There are a lot of people on that committee. It's, in my opinion, unwieldy. <laughs> my work, I think, is going to get done by the consultant team once they get going. Um, so I don't forget this diagram here. Can we add Herd Park project to the next agenda? So we do beach fees in Herd Park? Yeah, because we have funding to do this, but I want your opinion on things before we move forward on. That's, first the key. So yes, that's the only out. thing that we have on the agenda is- well, we had volunteer Oh, oh but well, no, it was, it was beach and fees and, and volunteer recruitment, that's it. So are right. we and keeping- And voting on the piper. Keeping it, and we'll put piping cover as a question mark. We'll finalize it before the next meeting, but I don't know if we need to take a vote on whatever we do independently, just for town purposes. So beach fees, herd park, volunteer recruitment, and the public park. Right. And okay. I, in an order of preference, I, I mean, in order of, of important, I would put volunteer recruitment, I hate to say last, but we started these other things. I right, know. Right. We'll get there, though. We're we flying. Will. I understand. We will. We'll get there. I trust you, Chair. No, I mean, I, we, I know. You're good. Okay. <laughs> Ad hoc committee. Okay. Hey, Doug, God. That was so not I, good news. I, I emailed right. everybody the last slide deck. That yeah. Yeah. Um, and so where we are with the committee, our charge was to do two things. One, take all the data from all the surveys and all the past ad hoc community center work, review it, analyze it, and then prioritize it. 
And then the second goal was to create a facility that was the most cost effective. So do our work with UTL and their sub consultants and our, and our project team, we should be receiving a draft report at our next meeting next Thursday. And what that is, that's the combination of all the work. We'll review it. And then we go before, and if you're interested, this is a good one to come to, August 21st, we present to the town council that such report with our consultants. Is that the workshop? That's the workshop. Yep. That we present the report to. So depending on how we feel about this, we should probably plan to go and offer public comment. Correct. And this is, so, to, so where this is right now is that, again, the school and the community center were, were both priorities. School passed, but that put, put us in limbo. I mean, school failing put us in limbo. And so they can't say when this will go forward. And so all, what are the two things that I think that this group could decide on is how do you want to support the message as a group or individually? Um, and I think that um, understanding the project in itself, if people ask questions. So um, in the packet, to get everything that the community wanted in this market, it's an $83 million building. It's a substantial building. Um, and then what we asked the consultant to do was give us two more options. One was taking away some of the resources. And when you looked at the slide deck, it took away like community services not being there. You had to choose one of the two pools. You know what I mean? And then the third option was taking away all the community good and making an athletic facility. And so, but you went from 82 million to 74 million. Um, and the middle one was 79. So the committee voted to stay with the first option just because it provided what people wanted. And it it was the most sustainable function because not to get into the weeds, we need a lap pool as a priority pool because of high school competitions and new swim teams. Um, but so you know, a rec therapy pool makes more money, it's fiscally more sound than a lap pool. And that's why a lot of communities do both because the, the rec therapy pool offsets the cost of the lap pool. If communities choose, obviously they just choose one, and that's the lap pool because of you need for for competition. And so, that's what they did in, in the middle one is you would have to choose one or the other, and in good faith we would have to say it would be a lap pool. So your revenue comes down, and and your um your programming changes a little bit. So where we're at right now is we'll review the final report next week. Um, uh, Patrick O'Reilly, the chair, will make his cover letter to the, once we get the report, and then it'll get presented by him and our consultants from UTL on the 21st. Um, the good thing about this report is in their presentation, um, we asked them to upsize the project. So it, it shows that every year you wait how much it costs. You know, the project goes, if you did it this year, it goes from 82 it goes to 85 next year to 89 the year after. And that's, I think, a very conservative escalation on it. And so part of the, the process that I think that I'll start working on the background a little bit is that fiscal model with um, uh, Norm, the town uh, finance director, because, you know, the way my mind works, and again, I'm a little biased with the community center, but when you're looking at fiscally, you know, if the school's 100 and this is 82, it's still math, right? You still get 182. And whether you do this one or this one, but if you wait for a community, this one's going to go up next year. And if you wait for us for three years, that's gone from 82 to 89. So it's gone up another 5 million. So when does it fiscally make sense as well? You know, so there's the, the philosophical decision and the financial decision. I think we as a town, and I would say this to the council and I will, we need to make a fiscal decision and a financial a philosophical decision at the same time. Because I have heard some, some people is that I, I won't vote for a school until I know when we have a community center in line, you know, and vice versa, you know. So mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I think people, we, we need a school. There's no doubt that there needs to be a solution, but that could be a five year. And I think it just pushes us back. It's just like, it makes it almost insurmountable, you know, I mean, the the thing that I keep coming back to is when we voted on the school, we were not close. It wasn't like it was like 
30% said yes and 70% said no. I don't remember exactly. So how many years is it going to take us to get to a point where we're passing it? And then this community center in the meantime gets more expensive. You know, it's not, and, and can you tell me the quote, the um, statistic on self-sustaining? It's Yeah, so the building, the way that, I got it right here, the way that building is, if we're talking about the building, and in that building, so you know, was an eight lane lap pool wreck, um, spectator seating for competitions, um, three basketball courts, walking track, uh, cardio and fitness, and then all your community good. Meeting rooms, multi-space, kitchen, child watch, uh, and then our offices, as well as in that budget is if it was on the site that they're projecting, replacing the shop. So the parks building would be in that building too. Um, if it went to a different site, you could take that money out. There's also money in that to build uh, another grass field because where we would need to take that Wentworth field and the school needs that. So we'd push it and build a new one closer to the school. So those are three additional costs that are in this project due to that site. So, um, but that building to your question um, is 96 self, uh, self cost recovery after three years. Normally it takes three years to get to the, you know, build out full membership, build out all your programming. Um, so that means that there will be membership fees that yes. people will join. Yep. And then after three years, 96% of the 82 million? No, of the operating, the, operating. operating costs. Okay. Yeah. So this 82 million, the town still has to come up when it's right. right. Okay. Yeah. And, and what we talked about at our last meeting, and I think we're going to touch base on a little bit is, you can't talk about alternative funding until you commit to a, That's what I was a project. That's going to ask you. Because we might be able to go to the Alpine Grant. We may have right. to go to Land and Con Water Conservation Fund grants. We might be able to go private donations. But until a town commits to say, we are taking on this project, me as a large donor is not going to say I'm going to donate. Or I'm not going to go after naming rights to say, right. I'll call this the Hannaford building if they want to right. give me $5 million. Right. You know, I mean, I'm using that as an example. Right. But until you know something is supported by a community, and we haven't taken that step at the council level to say we support it. And, and you know, you could drop that, forget tax increment financing or any of that sort of stuff, which is way above my, but there's other ways to save. Um, and you can't go get that other stuff until you're committed because nobody's going to give you that. Look what happened to the library. They went after all that money and then they, they lost it mm -hmm. because there was no commitment. And it's hard to do that most of the time. So I think there's ways to reduce the over that $82 million. Um, you know, but when you think about it, over a 30 year bond, it's less than $3 million a year, you know, to have that building. That I think would be important to show, like, yeah. sort of like when they say that new no rate means yep. 200 extra dollars for the average homeowner, right. like break it down yeah. for a year, what the impact is. And that's why I need Norm to do it, because some years, again, when you talk about what it affects you as an individual taxpayer, but how it affects is you as an individual taxpayer also depends what else is there. Like when the Haggis Parkway bond comes off, that drops your, your taxes down. Or when the, the, the fire truck we bought 10 years ago comes off, you know, Things come off and things come on. And so it, you know. That will be key because people are going to want to know how it impacts their pocket. Absolutely. Because I think there's generally support. Well, we've seen it through all the surveys. For right. a community center, just tell me how much it's going to cost me. Right. I really want it. I, right. I think there's, it's slightly different than the school. Right. Which for better or worse. Right. People yeah. want the community center. Yeah. Tell me how much I have to pay for it. And nobody in the committee wants an athletic center. Any private business can build an athletic center. Right. You know. The community center piece of it um, is the meeting space, is the group being able to go, you know, have a have a, a private event or have a community event there or host voting or, or the emergency shelter. Middle school kids can go right. play, whatever. Right. You know what I mean? And so, again, there's a fee structure. So you would have community spaces and then what they call, and I don't like the term, but they call paywall, things you have to use to, you know, you pay to go swimming, you know, unless it's free days, that sort of stuff. The amenities that, you know, that cost you would pay for. And then everything else is the community space that we use like they do now. In theory, if you get sort of more community support, it might in the long run make people more apt to support a school. I don't know, maybe that's sort of left field thinking, but you... I agree. 
Yeah, I'm not expressing myself. Know properly. That, yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, a community, it's a it's a gathering space. Right. Scarborough is extremely spread out. Yeah. There and isn't a, and then you feel like you're part of a community and you're interacting with different ages. You know, there's like no organic places food. to have a, I mean, the only place to have a conversation with anybody you don't know, you bump into them at Hanford's. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. There's no place, like, unless you're going with your kids or you're going to the beach or you're going, right. to, well, there's not a lot of those, hey, we're having a meeting or right. hey, you're coming in or I'm waiting in the lobby and I see Roger and I haven't seen him for months. Like, there's not a lot of those Space. And the intergenerational yeah. exchanges or even observations are very important when you're doing a pro project like a school. Yeah. Or so that you, we all live in our own little bubbles. Yeah. And so we feel, well, I don't have kids in school, so why do they need X, Y, Z? Well, when you meet someone and yeah. talk to them, they you do understand. And then the same thing like a school, somebody asked me, and I kind of gave the same answer, is that, you know, so said, well, we're doing this for the people moving in. No, we, we're doing it for the growth we already have. Everybody's yeah. worried about growth. We've already grown. And so this is a service for people that are here now. And so we arguably, do we continue to grow. Well, arguably, we did a study one year where I forget all the details, but most people, even if they do not have kids in schools, have used more from the schools if their kids went in the schools for like five, it takes almost three to five years to pay back your usage even if your kid's not in school right because it costs more to educate the kids than the average homeowner pays in their taxes every year yeah. like with the average so that my kids graduate i'm just saying yeah. they graduated last year i've used more than, I've than, than i i've yeah. taken more than i've paid in yeah so it takes me like saying the same thing for the payback five years out before my kids i forget exactly the data yeah. the numbers would be different that? We did there? it. We did it, right. Kate, years ago to it? justify our budget. You, you, it, the numbers are different now. So right. per student mm -hmm. head, you could make some assumption. Right, you could right. absolutely do it. But mm -hmm. in general, most people use more than they give back. And so, even if you don't have kids in school, arguably you're still benefiting. So you you technically owe the town of Cape, Cape Scarborough so many years after your kids went to school. So our role as the committee, they've done the work that they were supposed to do. Yeah, finished doing the work. My job then is the department that was tasked with this is to then put all the variables down. Here's what's going to cost in the future. Here's what the effect is. Mm -hmm. That's all that I can do. Then it's yeah. really going to come up be to citizens yeah. what they want to see and do. I can't beat that drum. That's not my role as community service director is to beat the drum. Like I do not want a community center. That's that's not. You know what I mean? Does this town should this town have one? Absolutely. But I'm not a taxpayer. And, you know, so it needs to come from the residents to say they want something. You know? So the ad hoc committee is, rec are they recommending? Yeah. Or they're they're rec recommending that the town council put this on the, that the yeah. town council put this somehow in the budget, however the vehicle of doing that is next year. That's their recommendation. No, they're recommending option A. Then they're going to recommend that, you know, I don't I don't know if they'll put it in a formal recommendation that this gets into the into the cycle of how they're gonna word it. You know, they all support moving it forward. Right. They've been very considerate and thoughtful about cost because yeah, you know, it's a lot of money. money. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of money, you know what I mean? So um, you know, we didn't go down the road of, you know, the other way to do this project is you have fifty million dollars, design a building yeah. for fifty million dollars. Yeah. And you would have had hatchets being thrown because you're never going to get mm -hmm. what you want. What do you need from this committee? I think that, you know, support on the 20th, this committee, again, it's a, it was a goal, you know, to reiterate that. Yeah. I think, um, you know, having a letter, if that's what you, I'm not saying you do, but if this committee supports or, you know, reiterating their goals that you got and adopted by council two years ago, um, I think those are just all things that, say we've done what you've asked us to do <laughs> you've asked us to set a goal you've asked us to do the work you've asked the community for surveys what is it going to take to make something a reality mm -hmm. and then it's out of our hands is this committee how does everyone feel about doing something formal like that do we no do we I mean, do we want to leave it as an individual and you can show up august 21st and right or do we want to have a joint statement from the committee I think we should have a joint statement. 
I think it's stronger if we have a joint statement as long as we all agree with obviously that we send that. But so statement. our joint statement is that we want this to happen, but we give all these reasons, right? Is am I missing the I think that's or can we or in a it... letter can we just if we do that, should we take a vote on that? I don't know how everybody feels. I don't want to sit because here's the challenge with this. You may support a community center, but you may not support the number. You know what I mean? You know, until you watch the presentation and see what the number what as in total cost as in total cost. That's, you know I mean? So is that the specific ask or is that our specific like we support the 82 million? I don't I don't know. I don't want to put where I think you can go out okay. a bunch of different ways. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of all the questions and concerns I get asked. You know what I mean? They're going to ask us mm -hmm. right? because it's community service, right? We're right. the advisory yeah. board. They're yeah. going to ask what this board thinks. Right. And, you know, and a lot of times we get a lot of heat from it from certain citizens, but, you know, sometimes it's you got to put it to the people to see what they support. Yeah. And if they vote it down, they vote it down. Right. You know, we think we put a project together that hits all the boxes. We understand that the fee is high, the cost is high, but that's what you've asked for. So if you really wanted it, that's what it is. And so, um, I don't know, that's, that's, that's the tough one. Well, and is our recommend, I mean, how firm, it's confusing to me, again, like, of course, I want the school and I want a new school, but realistically, it's hard to put the community center after the school, knowing that this, there's a long road in front of the school. And so how flexible is the town council and town hall when they say we can't do it, you know, we have to prioritize the school first? Is it one of the things that we should be doing to say, hey, what about, could we think about this a different way? Like you were saying, like what if the community center brings the community together, they see intergenerational um, bonds, and then we hope that that would make the school happen. Easier. Yeah, I mean, somebody said to me the other day, I support both things. Right. And so that becomes then, a, that's why I was trying to think about it as a fiscal decision. You know, if this project is ready to go it, and you want this design, it's never going to be cheaper if you want to do it. If you don't like this design, and that's a whole other question, then then you vote you vote no. But when? when when's See, but I think that's relevant, though, because with the growth at Scarborough is happening, like everything is going to cost money all the time, whether you get a school or a library or a community center, and you're always going to have to pay for something, whether you agree with it or not. So when the school happens, all the people that voted for the school, everybody's going to have to pay for it. All the people that voted for the community center, when the community center gets built, everybody's going to have to pay for that. So whether you agree with it or not, if something's going to get built and it passes and it's going to happen, everybody's still going to have to pay for it, whether you agree with it or not. Okay, or how do we get the passing and how do we get the vote moved up? Can we keep it simple and do what you said, Todd, I really like that, that one of the goals that was adopted by the Community Services Advisory Board was to um, pursue a community center for the town of Scarborough. We were, our, our representatives were involved in the ad hoc committee. We support their recommendation. And their recommendation is to... Oops. Right. We'll put it on the November ballot. I believe that's that their, that part of their... I, I don't know that they're being that specific. They're just telling the town, we're recommending you do this. Now you decide how to do it. Right. And can right. we say we're recommending putting it on the November? I mean, that we that's something we'd have to decide. But could we hypothetically say, we want this on the November? I mean, that's what the library did, right? It wasn't successful. So, But they yeah. basically said, like, put it to the people because the town council... I actually sure. think we are putting it to the people. If we make a recommendation and they decide not to do it, it's egg on their face, not ours. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And this is me thinking politically. It would be, at this point in time, it would be really hard to build citizen support trying to rush it in November, as much as I think we should. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's going to take multiple meetings, and you've got, a, you've got August, September, October. You've got three months to educate the public on what the project is. You don't think people are aware? We've been talking about it. You've been doing this for years. I agree. I've been talking about it. That is one thing about Scarborough. You do things five times. And maybe they get done. Yeah. How many surveys have been done? How many assessments have been done? I think I've done 90 surveys already. Yes, I agree. I agree. You're almost going to have a frustrated body list. Yeah, I don't do something. I agree. <laughs> it just, I, I don't know that I, There's I guess. There's no perfect time. Right. I, I, I would recommend that we 
do put a letter together. But I guess I'm a little, and I guess I'd be curious to know what you guys think. How specific do you want to be about the ballot? I'm in I think clearly in favor. You of, want it to be on the November ballot. Yeah, we want I, this I thing happen. As the, the library board for community services, while we are aware of all the things going on with the school, this is something that the people, if you, everyone wants it, right? Yeah. Whatever surveys have been done, people want a community center. If the town decides, no, we're going to deal with the school first, then that's for the town to decide mm -hmm. or school board or whoever's involved in that. But as the community services advisory board, I think we have an obligation mm -hmm. to say, this is what our citizens want. And as this specific board, we are requesting that this be on the November ballot. I agree, because I don't think that the library or the school are going to make the November ballot. No. Which the is... library definitely, or excuse me, the school definitely isn't. They said yeah, that. And the li I don't think the library is either. I don't know if the library is even ongoing. No, I think don't... the library is, 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 is staggering. Yeah. Well, we're going to get a community center. Uh, but remember also the other thing is land acquisition, and they do have the 30, 30, 30 goal. And I think there were, I just read somewhere that there's some property. I thought it was one of the three next, places, right? Yeah, so fire struck um, land. Uh, it, you mean uh, purchasing, like they need yeah. the money for the purchase? Yeah, the land bond is going to get on November. The amount will get decided. to get month. on. We can't. We will. Yeah, thank you. What's Rick, that? you're being quiet, and you have the. I was going to say, yeah. What do you got? What do you what want to say? I don't tell us. Are you exhausted yeah. by it or secretly fired up? <laughs> I anticipate that we're going to get a lot of questions. People will ask us about it, and I would like to have a really well informed answer. Mm -hmm. So my own feeling is, I'll go to the workshop and I'll read the material and I'll listen to the math and I'll listen to the facilities and the resources that it offers so that when somebody asks for me me for my opinion, I'll be able to answer them with specificity. Mm -hmm. So I Good feel answer. like so are you hesitant to do like if we wait November. till then, then we're the end of August. Are you hesitant to do some kind of letter? And if we wait till the end of August, that's too late. Because the ballot language has to be done, I think, the last week in August. I think this was kind of... So we send a letter sooner, right? Are you comfortable doing general. that? You're, I'm hearing a little bit of reticence on your part, which I respect. Right. I try to process in my mind how the voters will react how the community will react. And I'm not sure that I have the familiarity with the, the math, the numbers, and the, the plans to be able to offer really compelling good answers yet. So that doesn't mean that I'm reluctant to, to, to do a letter. I just feel like I would like to be a little more expert in this, and I I don't feel that right at the moment. So, so is I don't know why. To so do that, or is I, it I was from that? I was on my high school swimming team, so to me, I want mm -hmm. uh, a new pool that's twenty five meters by twenty five yards, so that you can use it for high school competitions yeah. and an Olympic competition, because mm -hmm. they're not the same thing. High schools don't mm -hmm. use Olympic mm -hmm. swimming. So, but that's what I personally would, right. would like. I'll go and swim. I used to swim when I worked in Portland uh, to almost every day. Yeah. So I know what I want in it, but I'm not, you, you know, it's a, it's a month away. I, I would like a little bit of time to make sure that I have my, my arguments lined up. But I mean, I don't think that we're realistically I don't know if it's going to get on the November ballot. I just don't. I just don't. From what I'm gathering, so, there's no chance in heck that it gets on the November ballot. Really? I, that's just what I've been getting. My because because I, like to your point is we just sit back and let it. You know when when do we start saying well, you know yeah. accepting that it might be on the November ballot, but advocating for the citizens that we're representing as the advisory board, I think is distinct. You know how many times I go into court, make a bail argument, I knew I was going to lose, but I had to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. That like that's where obviously my frame of reference and is. You could at. also be thinking about a statement that says, you know, the uh, I'm spitballing here. The soon as available ballot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
as soon as possible. The next available ballot. Well, and it doesn't. Sure. Well, you know, well, I, I this... think what I would feel totally comfortable doing is in our letters encouraging people to go to the workshop and listen. I mean, that, that's mm. basic. We could write a letter to the editor. Yeah. Do we I'm have the, the obligation right. at that meeting if if we say, you know, we support this center to support the work that the ad hoc committee has done and we're encouraging it to be on whatever we say about the ballot in November or next available. Do we have that obligation though to be the ones responding to the detailed questions about the money, et cetera? Or is that on the that's going to be the ad hoc? Well, that's what I was going to say. So if it's not our obligation to we should review it, of course. That's but like to articulate those things, but rather Patrick would be able to do that. That was just my thought. Yeah, I think details on the project are going to come from the consultant, myself, and from Patrick. Right. Who is the finance officer, finance person in the town that Norm. you? So you were going to ask Norm to, if we were to do the school and the community center, yeah. put them together, do a cost benefit of doing it now. Yeah. How long does that take? I don't think, depending on his availability, I don't think it takes long because it's brilliant. And that's why I was going to try to say, okay, if you if you were telling me the community center is coming after the school, I'm going to tell you that we're going to be lucky to get the school in November 2025 ballot. So okay. the earliest you're telling me is the community center could be on the November 2026 ballot. So we can run those two years of models of prices, you know, and of construction costs. And then percentage escalate that up and you can switch those in either position to say, you know, if you wait to that and you build the school, you've just spent an extra $9 million or $20 million or four. It's so ironic because the community center is probably one thing from everything I hear that everyone would actually agree. Right, right. right. Yeah. Exactly. That's why it's like, so why, that's why wait? So, wait? So I'm hearing a couple of different things. If we, if we did a letter in support of advancing the community center as soon as possible, and it's not our in our wagon to address, and I hear you, the questions about how it's paid. Right. Well, the DS not yours. We don't need support. to do that. We're just saying that we support the work of the ad hoc committee. Um, and we as it what the community center was a goal as presented to the town council several years ago of the community service advisory board, we support. Moving this, project. moving this project forward as as quickly level. as possible. Right, that's that's an abdication without backing them into a corner. You know, by saying we yeah. have to do something, it gives a chance for the com community to get educated, because that's the biggest thing. Getting on the ballot would be a, a, an amazing thing. It scares me to think about how you educate a community to pass a ballot of that size. Well, the, I, Rick, period. you have a you had a very good point, Rick. Um, we could so I'm. In terms of logistics, I am hearing that there's support for that, like without the money. I love your idea about a letter to the editor um, suggesting people go to that workshop. Is, do, will, the, Can we do that? will they welcome oh, yeah. people? Yep. It's a workshop. It's a workshop. They have to. Yeah. So, so that also allows us to go on record as supporting it. Right. So at the, the workshop, you get there. right. And so the citizens know that we're in support of it without going into the fine details. What's that thing? Logistics, we, who, 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 how does this work? So the letter to the editor, does anyone want to write that? I, I can write it. Okay. But, and then submit it. So then my next question is the letter from this committee. Yeah. If I draft something and send it to everyone, you edit it away. Who does that go to? I would send it to Karen. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. As a liaison. And then she can... She can share it with council. I'm going to keep it super simple. I'm going to probably do it in Word. And <laughs> that's okay. We can handle it. fine. Do it in Word because I'm going to keep it super simple. It's not like the legalese that you yeah. were amazing yes. with. And just, you can just reply all in an email and say you might want to change this, but it's going to be super simple. Yeah. So we don't, so everyone feels comfortable when we address people's individual concerns. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The letter to the editor, is that coming from us as a committee? Yes. Okay. To yep. be educated. And, and are we going to list our names or are we going to say community services advisory board? I think you just do that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because all, all you're doing is ask them to come get educated. Right. You're not telling them to come vote for anything. You're not right. telling them to say, come support it. 
You're just asking them to Maybe you can also say that we support it and we're going to, we encourage you to join us at the workshop on August 21st that like, we all learn more about yeah. the details of the project. Yeah. And then once that's right, so then we're can tied with the rest Facebook of the community. Did you send yeah. this? I did. Yep. I emailed everybody. When uh, it was a while ago. Yeah, it was a couple I think it just I found it. I was looking it up for the idea. June, June, June 21st. Can we just read forward? Yeah, please. Okay, so in the interest of time, it's now 8.15. Everyone's been great. Um, do we have anything else? We've identified our next agenda. Oh, can I say one more thing yes. about this? Yes. Sorry, one. Go. So when I went to the school board meeting, they were talking as if they could put a ballot together at any date. It didn't have to be November or June. Did I misinterpret that? Have And as I've, like, that we could say oh. the town council could put this up for vote, like, in, June? in February. Yeah, they can. I think legally they can put it any time they want. Traditionally, June has been an option, just because of some other state things that pop mm -hmm. up. Yeah. November is usually when you get the greatest turnout. Yeah. And do we think the greatest turnout is in our benefit? Probably. Yes. And I yes. think I missed one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. yeah. You you don't want fifteen people to vote because old versus in, in June you get much less vote. The majority of it is uh, absentee, and a lot of your users have checked out school, families, kids. You yeah. know, yeah. So November is preferable. I yeah. think for success, yes. Okay. Thank you. I I know working on an ad hoc, you you got to be prepared, and everybody needs to know what the project is about. So that you can talk honestly to your people, like anybody at, in my territory over there, we meet and they they ask what's going to happen, how much, and but you have the money that's coming. Yeah, because now we have models which we didn't have before, and that, again, this is different than a school or a public safety building because there's two choices: do you support it, and then would you use it? Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. and. Um, and then right in the revenue projections, it tells you what you would be charged and day fees and just different things. So you can get, if you're interested and in, you can get a majority of your questions answered, but it takes time to understand it. I think it'll be really important for the ad hoc committee to say that the money, the, the version that they're advancing is reflective of what the community wanted. Because the biggest thing with the schools is the money. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think most people are in support of public education. Right. It's just right. yeah. too much money for some people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, no, I, you know, I'll say one other thing. I, I think that the fact that the people were losing control of their primary schools to oh, one yeah. big yeah. one was well, something ones. that came up right. right at the last yeah, time and, and that took over yep. and swayed oh, that right. to go down. Very yeah. good point. There was a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, and then you had the downs involved. And that, yeah. so there were three so, things that were kind of, <laughs> yeah. The yeah. downs, too. You're absolutely right. Okay. Motion, um, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Yes. All in favor? You yes, so moved. Thank you very much. This was good. Thank you, everyone, for sticking around and everybody's been at the beautiful meeting.